Let's go. It is September the 10th, 2018. I wasn't expecting to find much in the press conferences yesterday. I, you know, I, I made the video yesterday after the game, and I kind of figured that would be it until probably today's press conference and then, you know, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, now I'm definitely going to be watching. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure Todd Munkin's press conference will be on Thursday. I, it's either Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not sure how they'll play that out this year. But, um, but I know the offensive coordinator is usually on Wednesday or Thursday. But... <laughs> So speaking of him, this is why I'm making this video. I'm watching Dirk Cutter's press conference, and for some reason it seemed like that one came through later on, on the Buccaneers app than, than everybody else's press conference. Because I watched Ryan Fitzpatrick. I, I saw his press conference. It came on pretty soon after the game was over. But Dirk Cutter's didn't come on until later, so I didn't watch it until pretty late last night. I was laying in bed getting ready to go to sleep, and I watch it. And one of the reporters, and I don't know which reporter it was, I, I couldn't make out who it was, but they asked Dirk who called the plays. You could just see it. Like, Dirk Cutter, like, his body language, like, the dude, like, was highly irritated. Now, I don't know if it's just he doesn't like this reporter or he's feeling some type of way about the play calling right now. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure and don't quote me on this but I'm pretty sure that Todd Munkin is the one calling the plays this year. Like I'm pretty sure that got handed off to him. Now, I'm really intrigued after watching this game yesterday if Todd Munkin is up in the booth calling the plays. I don't know. I was where I was at, I was at a restaurant. So I wasn't listening to the to the TV broadcast and unfortunately through the Buccaneers app, I had my headphones and I was trying to listen to Gene Deckerhoff, but unfortunately it was like a delay. So basically everything that was already happening on TV, it was like 20, 30 second delay. And then Gene Deckerhoff and the boys would come through and it was just, I, I can't do that. Like it's a little bit irritating. So, you know, unless I wanted to hear like Gene call a touchdown or something like that, which I would, because I love hearing that. Um, I pretty much just kind of went without hearing anything as far as the broadcast goes. So, I don't know. I don't, I'm not 100% sure on this. I'm going to have to find out. If you do know, leave a comment. Tell me, right? Because I'm, I'm a little bit ignorant on this right now. But um, but I am super intrigued, and this is something I'm going to be paying attention to because as soon as the reporter asked him the question, like you could just see it. And the thing was is that initially I didn't even hear the reporter ask the question. I just heard Dirk's response. And basically he was telling the reporter, like, you're a reporter, like, find it out yourself. Like, you can do this. Like, investigate. Like, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe he said that. Like, and to me, it wasn't like, I mean, that's a pretty simple question. So I don't know why his response was that way, but he's obviously feeling some type of way about this. And uh, we'll, we'll see how this plays out. But, um, oh, well, it was just something that I noticed. I've talked about this before. Like, this is really what I geek out on when it comes to these press conferences is body language and, and these little things like this. Like, that's what I, I love it. Um, Cause that's kind of when you find out like, you just kind of have to weave through all the, you know, politically correct answers, all the robotic talk, that, you know, that I talk about. And, and every once in a while you get that realness, that just that raw emotion. And uh, and I love that, you know. So uh, so we'll see. I'll follow up on this video once I have a little bit more information and uh, and I'm able to kind of find out exactly what's going on here because that was definitely uh, it was just really, really interesting. Um, and if you're into this kind of stuff, I highly encourage you to go back and watch that press conference from yesterday. And then, uh, and then I'll, I'll be watching his presser today just to kind of see how he follows up. Usually the following day, um, whoever asks him a dumb question like that, usually they're going to follow up again. So we'll see if they got, <laughs> if they got the nerve to say something again and then see how he responds. He may come back and be a little bit more calm. I don't know. Um, but we'll see. But that's about all I got. I'm heading into work. I hope everybody out there has a, just a great day today. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. I'm out.